Hey, you're What's in up? the show. What's you're up? in the show. Hey. This is we're so in the exciting. show. We we are here in the show with multiple Dude. people. Hopefully, this is episode we're, forty-five of the Twitter the, podcast. We're the show. We're the we're the fucking big show, dude. WWF, old school style, <laughs> dude. The big show. Well, it's the big show. <laughs> <laughs> or if you prefer, we can do uh, Captain Insano. You know, one day I'm hoping to maybe share with my kids the story of Captain Insano and uh, the Water oh, Boy. Yeah, I was gonna say Water Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Classic, <laughs> classic movie. Oh, that's a rewatch, dude. I'm on this whole like rewatch kind of kick right now. Like, I, dude, I rewatched um, the Mummy, like the Brendan Fraser. Oh yeah, that's but, a classic, dude. It's it's so I wouldn't say it's underrated because. I mean, when when it came out, like that was a uh, like a summer blockbuster movie, Correct. but it just no no one really talks about it anymore. But it's totally like the Indiana Jones of the '90s. Like it's. I mean, I can definitely see that. I mean, it had Brendan Fraser at his heyday, you know, at the highlight. You know, you got Rachel Vise, which everyone likes. You know, Black Widow plug. You know, can't wait to see her in that. Um, yeah. But then, you know, that was the official debut. You know, in episode two, I think, of The Rock as the Scorpion King. And uh, very, very cool. So um, great, great bring up, bringing that up the the time capsule of the 90s. Pretty excited. Yeah, it's um, it, and it, it holds it holds up. I mean, I, I was I was thoroughly entertained. You know, whenever I kind of go back to do these like deep dive rewatches of like, you know, 90 films, like I'm on a total 90 film kick right now. You know, there's there's some that just just don't hold up you know but uh i i was pleasantly surprised at that one it was still still pretty good but uh yeah so i mean episode 45 hey guys in the chat thanks for thanks for coming out um yeah episode 45 dude we're, we're, we're doing it man kevin how was the how was the three-day weekend man it wasn't bad um ha had a small little hiccup um i guess we can talk about that but um <laughs> I was able to go to the zoo. I'm officially a zoo member now. Um, All right. Here at the Nashville Zoo. So we're excited about that. We found out that if you buy the season's pass, essentially, if you go twice in a year, I mean, it pays for itself and you get free parking, all that other stuff. Coming up next week is the brew at the zoo. So we get in for free for that as well. You know, kind of the adults run the show there. Yeah. But um, it, it, it's good. And so I was excited to kind of be back at the zoo. And so we got to spend some time in some beautiful weather, checking out the zoo, um, did a little bit of brunching. Um, and also we have come across and become addicted to crumble cookie. Are you familiar oh, with this? Yes. Uh, we, we don't do it often. But when we do, it's yeah, it's it's the bomb. I'm always like, why don't we like do this more often? It, yeah, so there, there's one right so down good. the street from us. There's one right down the street from us. And our friends, maybe a month and a half ago, uh, for his birthday, said, "Hey, I got some crumble cookie. Come and check these out. You know, they're four flavors. Let me know what you think." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "Oh wow, these are really good." And they're like, "Yeah, they change up the flavors every single week." I'm like, "What?" And Game so. Changer. Yeah, I started chain, I started following them on Twitter, following them on Instagram. <laughs> and so then it hit this week. It was like the ultimate trifecta of every possibly good flavor that, that you could want. There was a chocolate peanut butter with peanut butter icing on it. Okay. There was a something called a fruit pizza. There was the strawberry cheesecake shortcake cookie type of thing. Uh, the chocolate chip oatmeal which was incredible and then they always have their chocolate chip and sugar cookie okay and uh we we usually get the box of four you know just because we try to try to be a little bit more healthy about things yeah. we went all out and got the, the baker's dozen on that <laughs> so i'm like let's just go all out and tripled up on a couple and yeah we we added a few lbs this week no no shame in that yo man i mean lbs earned though man you guys uh working your butts off right yeah well, how, absolutely. How's, your, how's your back did you get rid of the cane uh, I did get rid of the cane. I was feeling really good on Monday, honestly. So I was like, let me go ahead and put myself back in the gym. And so I, I felt okay. like I was at about 85, 90% of the stuff that I was trying to do. And then I guess, when was that? Yeah, Monday was yesterday. And so yesterday evening, because I'm old, like all the muscles started to ache and hurt, especially my back. And so like, I felt like I was back to square one and I was having Amy rub, you know, the, the, the icy hot on me and I had a little cool pack on my back and all that stuff. Um, and so I was like, I I'm, I'm done. I'm done for. But finally, I was able to uh, kick that with a little bit of Advil, feeling good right now. So we'll see how I wake up tomorrow. I might take another day off just in case. But um, it, it take, sucks getting old, man. Just take the week off, you know? I took the week off last week, you know? <laughs> I, I, especially with the amount of crumble cookie I'm eating at this point. Oh, man. I, we got to figure something out. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to get an order in with crumble cookie. I mean, either that, I, I'm on this, uh, 
it's just it's local so you won't know what i'm talking about but it's like a you know boutique cupcake place called sweet daddy's Ooh. and dude oh uh, yeah dude i get these uh these like red velvet ones oh. that are, and, and like a salted salted caramel uh like pretzel one dude it's yeah they're they're are you a dangerous. are you a uh, a cream cheese icing kind of guy very much so yep very yeah I, i'm all over that and if you get a cream cheese option i will be on it all day long when you said yeah. red velvet i immediately started my mouth watering and i've not had dinner yep. yet today so you can <laughs> i'm super hungry about this one well that's good so um i mean that that was pretty much it in the nutshell for the three-day weekend with the zoo and whatnot yeah the only other thing is that i try to do a little bit of grooming dave yeah um <laughs> if you can't tell by and but i'm owning this i'm owning this so I felt like I was getting a little bit uh, a little bit bushy and wanted to do a little bit of a manscaping or whatever you want to call this type of thing. And so I was like, I can do this myself. And so I don't know what I was thinking and took a little bit of a chunk out. But I hear from some coworkers, because obviously I work remote and we do a lot of video calls. That's the first thing people brought up. What the heck happened to your eye? And so I was like, well, it's on your fucking business for one. You know, let's not worry about that. Uh, but they say, well, that's what all the little 13 year olds are doing now. So yeah. this is a trend. People are like carving their eyes up already. I mean, the start of 2021, you know, Kevin got the TikTok account. Now, you know, he he's just a, you're a clout chaser, bro. You're just trying to get that clout, you know? I mean, whatever it takes to boost the <laughs> algorithm, get us some followers. I'm doing this for us, man. I'm doing this for us. But I mean, I, I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, no, it, 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 it looks intentional. Like you, yeah, you just like pull it off, you know? or something. <laughs> yeah, and, but but the bad thing is I hear that it may take like months to regrow and so yeah, dude. uh the, thankfully my wife's a makeup artist so if we have to go out for anywhere real she may have to just put sure. some in for me so but uh, not too bad, not too bad, but yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking okay. to it. All right, man. Well, yeah, I've been <laughs> I've been dying to bust your balls about that. So, yeah, because you found it because obviously Amy goes and puts it on, you know, her story and all that. And she's like, Kevin, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so everyone's like, wow, what a clown. And right. Here I am. Well, dude, I went to I don't know if you saw what, what I posted. So I had a pretty light, you know, three day weekend and whatnot. But I took Connor to a fucking monster jam on was that Saturday? Yeah, on Saturday. And it was the first one I've ever I, I've never been to like an official like Monster Jam. I think I went to like some like demolition derby type thing like back home in Canada, but it was probably like just a bunch of like you know, drunk uncles <laughs> just like in their old like tractors and shit together, but like I vaguely have any memories of it, but this was like legit obviously. Yeah, like That's like a coming of age for like a little boy. Totally, dude. And he yeah. was like all into it like uh grave digger was there and like all these like do they still awesome have the classics grave digger grave digger bigfoot all that uh, yeah, bigfoot bigfoot wasn't there but grave digger was they're all like different drivers now sure. and um but uh yeah dude grave digger like killed it like the first two um you know events grave digger did like awful but in, in the freestyle event um grave digger killed it and it was it was she she was the only no 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 there's two girl drivers and and she drove gravedigger and it was awesome like she was she did a fucking backflip like right out of the gates like it was just like holy shit you know like how, how do you do a backflip in a truck so it's just like real like a real steep ramp and they they just like they they slowly start climbing it and then they punch it and just with all, all that horsepower it just it just automatically like flips I but, got you. Uh, so the, the back wheels do the work essentially. It, exactly. Yeah. And it, it was um, yeah, it was sick, dude. It was a lot of fun. And then uh yeah, so that was pretty much my weekend. But one thing I did want to cover here in the uh, I, I know we're in the the Jedi Council right now, but let me actually get that up. So we're in the Jedi Council. And one thing I did want to mention is I finally did a Patreon, not not for Toy Owl. Like I <laughs> I joined uh a, so a you Patreon. Got hooked, huh? I got hooked, you know, and, um, you know, I don't, I don't mind doing that stuff. Like I, I never looked at it like, oh, like I'm not going to fucking, you know, ever like, you I'm know, give me for free content. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I never really had that type of attitude with Patreon, but like, actually, no, that's a blatant lie. I, I, I do <laughs> have that attitude towards it with certain things, you know, like if it's just like, I can't even come up with an example right now, but like, you know, like a, 
TikTok. Like, I'm not going to pay well, someone. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I hope you enjoy my channel here, but the real good stuff's on my Patreon. You know, I'm going to give you the shitty stuff, but the real yeah. good stuff's on my Patreon. So yes, yeah, like that. That's an example where I'm like, okay, well, I'm not even going to consider, you know, even looking at your Patreon page. But you know, huge plug here. So yes, have some. We talk about them all the time. Love everything that that team is doing. Highly recommend. If you guys are enjoying our show, you're really gonna enjoy their show because, like, they're they're the shit. Like, they, everything that they cover is amazing. They have an awesome dynamic. They've been doing like podcasting for five years. They have a ton of, uh, like, they basically have a network of podcasts, toy news, Ghostbuster news, all of it. Um, they have a Bad Batch focused uh podcast now, which is awesome i think it's just actually on youtube but anyways so i did their patreon so you know i gave them five bucks or whatever a month and i'm immediately like as soon as i got access to it i got access to their entire backlog of their you know i don't know like three years or however long that they've been doing a patreon of their episodes that they've been doing for podcasts so they record four i believe four episodes a month so I've just been, you know, listening to all these like soup, you know, older Patreon exclusive yeah, episodes. Yeah. That's cool. And dude, they're they're great. They're they're not like you know as focused these as are like good they're guys, by the way, as well. Great guys and um, a bunch of douchey tools. <laughs> yeah, not like us. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I listened to one and uh, dude, it it just totally got me like it, right in the feels. It was they they just covered, uh, well, they actually covered the blockbuster the last blockbuster documentary and then they they did their whole stories of you know their personal experiences and it was just a fantastic episode but anyways if you guys are ever considering like doing a, a patreon and you are listening to yes have some i highly recommend doing that patreon because it's it's well worth it just like to get the existing backlog of all their episodes that they've done and then they have like an exclusive instagram um account just for their patreon so it's 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 very cool but uh yeah i wanted to call that out and then um yeah yojo june i mean we just got the post today we knew it was coming obviously uh but i, I didn't think we were going to get anything official like today but we got an official announcement that you know on this friday at i believe it's 8 a.m pst they're going to be doing you know a live panel and dude i i cannot wait i mean i'm yeah i'm more excited about that one than like i am at, for any star wars panel recently like i'm i'm so excited for this one so what are you expecting from this one let's let's get it in now or, or we're oh. going to go to your patreon to hear that <laughs> yeah no that's going to be my my fans only i'm going to have like a a baroness uh um bikini top and i'm just going to be talking uh gi joe so nice. sign me up you'll get my five bucks <laughs> um but yeah i mean you want to kind of get into speculation let's let's get ask the guys in the chat too <laughs> um yeah what do you guys think is going to come out of the the yojo june i in that's the thing like are we going to get like a kind of a fan um fan friday or whatever like once a week for the whole month you know are we gonna get like two things like it'd be awesome if we got something every week like what the legends team has been doing you know yeah i like um mighty mouse is saying that we could possibly be seeing more exclusive as opposed to full waves but i think that they may definitely show us some more snake eye figures i think that you know there could be something more to that um because i know they're going to really want to be pumping that movie when it comes out yeah um we, yeah we so we did get the the movie like whatever the first wave or whatever we're calling it of that movie line and man i'm I'm a little underwhelmed on that movie line and it's it's funny like drawing parallels to the marvel legends line like i was i pretty much exclusively just collected mcu figures and you know i i, I didn't go after you know the comic figures and the, the cosmic figures and whatnot and then with this i think i'm going to do the opposite like i yeah, have all the, with the tv show versions yeah i have i have all of the movie ones on pre-order but like every now and again i'm looking i'm like i'm just gonna i'm I'm just gonna you know delete these or uh cancel these because I, i'm just i'm not that interested in them yet so maybe when the movie comes out i might i might have a different you know feel for it but i don't know um i i definitely think we're gonna get some sort of i'm i'm hoping pot you know positive vibes here I'm hoping that we get some sort of announcement of 
the distribution challenges a la the target shit show. So Yeah, and I think they know that and they know yeah. about it. And that whole team is so upfront that they will and they've addressed it before. You know, it's not like they're hidden or shut shut shied away from that. I think that they will definitely mention that and possibly even rectify it to to some degree. So I think that's a great call out. Yeah, I, I think I think that's gonna happen. Um hopefully we get some good news if they're just like, yeah. I mean, the, I don't think the targets uh exclusives are going away. I think they're right. There's too much money to be made from Target. Yeah. I mean, you got to have your business hat on here. That's that's not going away. But what I think could possibly happen where it's like a uh, first to market exclusive, like what NECA did with those Father's Day figures, like the thing and uh, the two Kongs and the, the, the um, Doc Brown figure. Those are exclusive to Target just for now and then they're going to be available everywhere so i wouldn't be surprised that's that's my guess that we're going to get some sort of like announcement like that you know where maybe such an easy fix though wouldn't it yeah like i think major blood will be available to other you know kind of e-tailers uh fan channel if you will i don't know how far back they're going to go on that you know if they're going to go all the way to that first uh series of cobra island um but I, I think we will get some positive news on that. As far as figures go, barbecues heavily rumored, which would be awesome. Um, and him as a deluxe figure. So I don't know what that would be about or how they would do that. Because I do not. Yeah, we've never gotten a deluxe classified figure yet. Aside from, you know, Baroness. And that's not really a, you know, a deluxe. That's just like a ride, right? And then um, Mindbender, Dr. Mindbender, which, dude, I, yeah, all over that. I, that was one of my favorite figures as a kid. And then a two-pack of the the BAT. And yeah, I was going to say, I, like, I would love to see the bat. I think that'd be fantastic. Um, and I think it's about time. I think we're coming up on the one-year anniversary of the classified line. Perhaps we can finally get Sergeant Slaughter as the uh, one year anniversary figures exclusive or something like that. Maybe I'm just dreaming. Maybe I'm hoping, yeah. willing it into existence. That 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 was on our top ten uh, of you know 2021 kind of call outs. You know, uh, uh, Sergeant Slaughter and I. Yeah, I think it's going to happen, tease, especially with that tease. Remember, he's like, "Oh, I had a meeting with Hasbro" or something along those lines. I mean, we, we got to get something like that. It's got to be coming. Um. Yeah, the bubble vehicle. That's right. Yeah. So um, I don't know if, you know, the, obviously the retro line is going to get, you know, a bunch of, you know, kind of reveals too. So I, I'm not really into the retro line. So, you know, I, I don't know what, you know, I wouldn't even know what to guess, you know, what they would do with the retro line. Um, the vehicles are pretty awesome. I do have the His Tank. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just really excited for this month specifically because, you know, Joe, Joe stuff. And dude, they, they, they got absolutely slaughtered on that announcement. I, I, I spent, I spent like 10 minutes just combing through looking at like all the comments and every single one of them was like shitting on them. Like, I'm like, Oh man, like they got to address that elephant in the room. There's no way they can't like, they have to address that. Yeah. And I mean, one of the things you do when there's a glaring issue such as my eyebrow. You don't try to hide it. You just come right out and address the situation because everyone knows that's what needs to be talked about. And so yeah. I think that they would gain a huge, you know, public, you know, hand clap, you know, congratulations. If you just address the obvious and right. admit your mistakes, admit your failures and adjust on that, that's where good teams and good programs, good lines really excel is when they address the issues, rectify it, and then continue to thrive. And I think that they're smart enough to do that, especially with some of the, you know, things we've seen in the past. Yep. Yeah. And, and there, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, smart people on that team. So hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, um, that will kind of, they'll, you know, ride the storm there, or whatever, whatever that analogy is. <laughs> and, Speaking uh, you of know, storm, um, I think Mighty Mouse actually just said this is, is it true? I think I saw we still have not had a traditional Storm Shadow released. Not yet. And uh, that, that'll that 
you know, there's no way that figure is not coming. You know, of, of course, of course it's coming. And like you said, dude, it hasn't even been a year. Like that's crazy. So like I'm, I'm for them sprinkling them out. Like, you know, we don't, we don't need all the heavy hitters right away, you know, but yeah, we just have that Arctic storm shadow, that Amazon exclusive. And then, um, the storm shadow movie one, you know, that's it. Yeah, because I think we've talked about this before that it runs the risk of kind of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line to where, you know, those big heavy hitters of the Mighty Morphin line and the big villains are kind of, once people get those, no one really cares about, you know, some of the other lines. I know there's are plenty of figures that people do care about in different lines, you know, from the Power Rangers franchise, but the big ones, such as your Duke, your Scarlet, your Snake Eyes, once you get all those out, there is going to be a part of the population or collector's population that isn't as attached to all the other lines. And so yeah. I think you admit you had mentioned that, you know, just don't blow your load on this first year of all of it. So I guess we'll see. Maybe we'll get a, a nice pipeline, uh, a nice pipeline show, you know, this Friday or something. Yep. And th yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's all about staying power, right? Like, you know, with that plasma series with the Ghostbusters, like that, you know, already ran its course almost. You know? I know. Like, Believe me, I wanted a Vigo with the Carpathian. That would have been amazing. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's get into some pickups, man. So um, let me do you mind if I do the honors first? I know I know of you course. got like a, a big one, so I, no, well, I, I don't want you to upstage me. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. So. First things first, uh, I got Hawk. So this is, you know, the Clone Wars Black Series wave Hawk. I only really wanted two of these figures. I wanted Echo and I wanted Hawk. I was passing on Anakin and Obi-Wan. I think I, I think I'm like the opposite of, of you, right? I think you said if you saw Anakin and Obi, you would take them, right? Correct. Yeah. The, the collecting the clone line is infinite. You can never have all the clones, at least with your title characters, you could at least have those. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I considered, you know, kind of going after Echo or sorry, um, Anakin and Obi-Wan, but then I was like, I, I just, I don't, they don't fit in kind of how I'm collecting black series right now. So I was like, I, I just got to, be responsible and and not buy them so i specifically you know decided not to buy them but yeah i'm i'm grabbing every single trooper and clone trooper i can find in black series so uh grab those two echo is by far still amazing i i opened him up after our last week's show and yeah he looks he looks great dude and of then all the clones that are out there would you say that he's probably the best one to date so far or is yeah. it still maybe rex or something like that um yeah i would say yeah possibly rex is because he he does have uh the, the soft good cape um echo i don't believe echo had the soft good cape yeah no and then um yeah i would say i would say probably him i i really like wolf just because that dude has uh, a scar he kind of looks like yeah, your but, eyebrow yeah, i know really know. cool head scope right you can call me commander <laughs> wolf i'm part of the wolf pack yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then finally, this is, I think this is like a Kevin, you know, kind of provoked purchase, but I finally got there my, we go. okay. my big boy, the thick boy, thick boy, uh, my hot toys, Mandalorian, heavy, heavy in infantry trooper. And, um, yeah, I obviously haven't even opened them yet, but I'm looking forward to it and I can just feel dude. It, it's it's a big boy dude it's a, it's noticeably heavier than any other hot toy i have yeah and it just looks so good when you get it out the the sculpting the colors the the gravitas that it has on the shelf is so impressive and i think you'll really really like it i think you'll be really happy with that purchase right there sir yeah i uh yeah you definitely sold me on that because just seeing your pictures in that what what do you call the stand not a flight stand what's what's that it's the dynamic flight stand dynamic flight stand yeah i don't have any figures that that have that so actually no my deluxe best car mandalorian comes with that right he does yes yeah i just i haven't even fucked around with it i just <laughs> <laughs> just put it in like a vanilla pose um but uh yeah i i'm looking forward to messing around with that with you the heavy museum super. poser I'm such a museum poser. <laughs> oh, speaking of posers, can't wait to get into that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Whatever yeah. that's about. Um, and then lastly, dude, 
so fucking stoked on this. This is the highlight of my purchases. I got the goddamn thing figure, dude. I'm and so excited for you on that one, dude. This thing is just. It's amazing, dude. I mean, NECA's face sculpts on this, like, I mean, this is Kurt Russell, dude. This this looks great. I, I love, you know, the two other uh, head sculpts that it comes with, the fucking cowboy hat, the, the fucking, the scotch. I mean, this is, I cannot wait to take this open. I, I was actually tempted on doing it, but I, I try to keep everything in package for the show. But yeah, I'm. I'm pumped, man. I, I can't believe they're finally making thing figures. That's just like so I was so excited when they announced that. Uh, I can't wait to get um I hope we get like some actual like alien type figures. Uh Mighty Mouse actually sent me a picture. Yeah, Mighty Mouse, what was the deal with the, the that spider uh version? That was someone did a a, a CAD I or um, not a CAD, uh, what do you call it? Three a three D print, it looked like uh of uh you know the spider one and it was it was awesome. Yeah, there it is right there. You have to get that spider head. I said, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just can't wait to see like if NECA can maybe do like an accessory set, you know, like what they do with that uh, that Nightmare before uh, Nightmare for Christmas, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street accessory set with like all the crazy shit that comes with it. Like we need something like that. Yeah, and I, I, I can tell how much it means to you by how much you're smiling and talking about it. So I really hope they continue the line for you. And yeah, when you, when you went and you didn't find it the first pass, but then you saw it the second time, I was like, man, good for him. Good for that guy. Yeah, dude. Um, super pumped. And it looks like it's pretty, I, I think every store got like a, it seems like a full case. So I think it was like maybe five or six figures. So yeah, we, we, we got there and there was like six, six of them actually no there was five we took one and a left a left four but uh yeah pretty, pretty one for the other collectors respectable right. man respect respect <laughs> we got you all right what do you got man all right so as you were talking about 3d printing and such i want to give a shout out to uh, something i was able to grab for a long time i have been looking to somehow upgrade my deluxe mandalorian for his season two armor um as you know he's got that different thigh plate he has the knee rocket launchers, whatever you want to call that. But everyone that was 3D printing them was in Europe and Asia, and I'm not paying $80 to plus stuff getting shipped over to me. I, it, I just can't do that, can't do that. So I was scrolling through eBay just the other day, and I finally found a US seller, someone who was just starting up, wanting to get this out there. I'd kind of favorited it, and I guess they saw that someone was watching it. And he messaged me and he said, name your price on the uh, the set because you'd be my first sale. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. So I named it my price for him and it came in and check this thing out. We now officially have the season two thigh plate and uh, the rocket launcher knee pads. And okay. these are great. They're all, you know, specific, all, I guess, 3D printed and painted and, uh, I can't do any of this stuff and it looks great. It comes with the Velcro already on the back. So you just pop it on. All right. And and there it is. And so congratulations to Darth Severus. I went ahead and put his name on there. Darth underscore Severus 53. So if you are a six scale collector and you wanted to upgrade your Mando into that season two looking gear, go ahead and check out Darth underscore Severus 53 from eBay. And I said, Hey, do you have an Instagram? I can go ahead and tag you as I don't have one set up yet, but I will. So as soon as he gets that set up, we'll make sure to give him a shout out on the, on the page for those people that need to get the upgraded armor set. So you don't have to go get it from Asia or Europe. So right. awesome. Very, very cool. I'm very, very happy to have that one. But then if you remember, uh, a couple weeks ago, or maybe about a month ago, there was the 10-year anniversary to Game of Thrones that was released, if you remember. And if you guys remember, I kind of went all in on those 3-0 figures, and I definitely wanted to make sure that I got my limited edition, one of 1,500 Season 5 Daenerys Targaryens. And look who came in today, right before the show started, because we were actually, um, it was supposed to be here tomorrow, but here it is. Here is Danny from season five, and this one is really, really good. The head sculpt on, I guess, the original wasn't that great, but this one's actually not that bad. And it's got the sculpted hair. Oh, there we go. It's got the sculpted ha hair. <clears throat> Goodness, can't talk. The sculpted hair on it, so you don't have to worry. And yep. it looks actually pretty darn good. Uh, it's got a little bit of you know the real stuff in the back, but this is a pretty darn good figure. So I'm really excited about it. Very bare bones. 
but um, not bad. I'm pretty yeah, happy no, about that. no, no eggs or baby dragons or anything like that. No, they want you to go ahead and buy the uh, fifteen hundred dollar Drogon to go yeah. with her. Um, it it so. was, was that um, who, who's the manufacturer on that? Three zero. That that was three zero. Okay. Yeah, so uh, they've really upped their head sculpt game. I've seen that they've done kind of a preview for the Tormund, you know, the guy with the big red beard. Yeah. Um, he, he's supposed to be doing and shipping out here in the next couple of weeks or so. And so some people already got him, some reviewers, and that head sculpt looks incredible as well. So shout out to 3-0. You're doing some great work. Um, you got me hooked, obviously. And so I can't wait to see the rest of the pieces that come out. I think we talked about, you know, Cal Drago coming out, maybe a Danny Cal two-pack. Two um, they've already released Sansa. I think there's supposed to be a new uh, Jora, um, a few other ones that are coming. So I'm excited about that. So 3-0 is doing some good stuff. And then lastly, I wasn't feeling good last week, Dave, because my back was sore. And I said, to I need eBay. To to, to to eBay we go. And um, but I ended up going to replay toys instead. And I finally to replay the toys. <laughs> to replay toys. And we were able to go and where they're having a, um, they had a Memorial Day sale where they gave a 10% off coupon. So I needed right. to capitalize on that. I'm like, well, I can't not get it now. Yeah. So I got the deluxe job of the hut, uh, as you see. And that thing is so big, so big. If you've not seen that, I threw that on the, my TikTok. I put it on my story. Um, it's an absolute centerpiece as well as the Hulkbuster. And it's massive. It's huge. Very, very cool. Happy, happy to own it. Yeah, the huge congratulations on that, man. I'm so, I'm so, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a proud dad, dude. I'm, I'm so proud of you for, for, you know, taking the plunge on that. Where do you, do you already have it set up? Is it on your, on like your top of your detoffs or what do you got going on? No, it's way too heavy to go up there. It is on, oh, really? I, I got my, I have my three computer monitors here for work. And then on the other side is kind of a bookcase type of thing. Okay. And it's sitting on top of it and right next to my speeder bikes. So, it takes up probably a third of the bookcase, maybe two thirds of the bookcase. That's how big it is. I mean, you saw Jesus. it. I mean, it's absolutely massive. Yeah, and I, I I know I saw it, but like I st I still know it's like, you know, when when I like see it in person, I'm probably going to be like, whoa, I'm that's still bigger than I thought it was going to be, kind of thing, you know. So, yeah, it's like, twice the size of the original sideshow one that they the original sideshow and throne. It's twice that size. Okay, so I, it's 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 funny because. Um, the, the, the local homies, uh, I didn't go to, it. uh, I believe it was on Monday. There was a new shop that opened up. It was like on the opposite side of town for me on the North side, but like mighty mouse and AZ figs and uh, all those guys, they went and I swore uh, mighty mouse. Let me know in the chat, but I, I think you or, or Oliver sent, you know, took a picture of a sideshow Java, but it looked it didn't look like the one you got. So they, they've done two versions of this. I didn't know that. Yeah, there was that scum and villainy series that they did back in the day. With the bounty uh, hunters, the, bounty the boss hunters, yeah. and whatnot. Okay. And that's what this one was because they sent me the same picture. So the there was that original release, but this is the full one six scale um, deluxe with thrones. So this one's so, about twice the size. And so it's it's it'd be newer. It's you know, mm -hmm. it was probably released four or this five. Year. Oh, it, it was this year it was released. Yeah, the deluxe was released this year, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It, that's not still available on Sideshow, is it? I think it is, yeah, because this that replay got it from Sideshow. And so got that's, it. How, that's how I ended up getting it, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that one locally, uh, it looked like it was it was older so i wouldn't be surprised if that was like the original scum and, you know, scum and villainary whatever set. So, and that that one's got to be like ten years old, then, hey? It, it definitely does, and that's when you had the uh, original head sculpts looking like some of the old Clone Wars cartoons. Yeah. Uh, it, they were rough, but I mean that's the way it was back then. Technology hasn't hadn't caught up, so still a cool right. piece, though. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Nice shit, man. I'm uh, I'm stoked you got that. So now, are are you going to be looking for a, a Leia to go with it? Well, remember last week we talked yeah. about that one Jabba's palace uh kit and as soon as i got off and i was like man i probably should just go get that java and then i started looking to oh that's go. what kind of you know yeah, like, yeah it right. did and i was like well maybe i should start looking <laughs> into that set now because it could i mean java's not java without leia so yeah 
Oh shit, man. That's how it starts. So too. We'll, yeah, we'll see. So just as I influence you, you influence me. We have this vicious cycle around and around we go. Yeah. Dave, you and I are destined to do this forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's I, I I'm sure I can like, you know, seven degrees of Kevin Bacon this back to my my moon night, you know, comic, all the way back to you somehow, you know, mentioning just in passing, like, yeah, you should probably get that book. And then, you know, $1,500 later, I bought a fucking $1,500 comic book. <laughs> I mean, in full transparency, like ever since, like I was so on board for, I thought that I was going to be able to go out and get those Ghostbusters. And when that fell through, like I felt that was, and it wasn't, okay, let me, let me just lay that out there. It's not free money that was just sitting there needing to be right. spent, but I had already accepted that I was going to be spending that. And so I said, okay, I'm oh, just going to okay. start spending it. <laughs> and so there that's what go. I did with some of these things. So I don't know, man. It's a dangerous, vicious cycle. All right, man. Well, yeah, good, good, good pickups this week. I think I'm going to have a pretty light week. Watch, I I, I say that now and I'm going to have like a fucking, you know, comes, life size, down. like an actual, like, you know, Star Wars movie prop or <laughs> some crazy shit. So it's amazing what falls into your lap. I, mean, I did. I, we have some good stuff on my predator hit list that I'm still just stalking and you never know something, something could fall. And, yeah. um, Dave, I will say something is in the mail, but I guess we'll see where it lands next week. I, I, I have some mail call. I'll have some mail call. I mean, it's, it's shipping from, from Hasbro. I just got the tracking. So however long it takes to ship from, I think it's shipping from Georgia. I didn't know they had a distribution. Uh, I, didn't know I thought they were all in uh, California. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see how long that takes. But uh, okay, well, let's get into some Star Wars news. So uh, not too much, but we did kind of get some exciting stuff, uh, you know, going on for uh, the Black Series stuff. So, you know, anyone who is holding out and not wanting to feed the scalpers. This and wanted, is the wanted, big one. Yeah, wanted to Captain Rex. Boom. Hasbro's got your back, dude. They, they, they're re-releasing it. Um didn't see this coming, and but I'm not so scalpers I, cried out in terror. Yeah. And suddenly silenced. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised they did it, but I mean, it's, it's a pleasant surprise. I, I, I'm all for this, dude. I, you know, I, I know this is kind of a controversial topic of how, you know, companies, and it's funny, Kevin, you, you know, we were talking about that one asshole on Reddit that was like, you know, threw out that thing about hot toys and how they sh should just re-release hot toys every three years. And cause he missed out on a T 1000 and you know, now that T 1000 hot toy is like, you know, $700. Yeah, and, absolute you know. clown. So it's like, dude, I, 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 I get his complaint, but then I also get, you know, well, yeah, dude, you just, you just missed out. That's the thing with collecting. If you just make collecting accessible to everybody, it's gonna like, it's not, collecting you're just buying stuff <laughs> it's yeah i mean no longer collecting you're just literally buying it's like you're buying groceries yeah like, that, that's anyone can get point. it that's a great point and you have to think of it that way there's going to be things and that's the whole point of supply and demand there's going to be things that you cannot obtain because there are few of them that's what makes it quote a grail we've talked about this not everything can be a grail and we have this terrible mindset that if it's something you want it's a grail no, just because right. it's readily available does not mean, or not readily available does not make it a grail. You just missed out on it. So, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the people's mindset on some of these, um, I guarantee as soon as this was released, there, there were people crying out in terror because, you know, they had just paid a hundred bucks for it and now are upset. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's it, the way of the game. You're going to win some, lose some. And I mean, this is funny because it, it got, it got like a second push because it came out. It was obviously a hot figure. Yeah, this there is was, round three, I think. Yeah, exactly. And then, um, dude, like I, I found, I've probably found eight of these at five below, and and Burlington. Oh, I and forgot like, about that. I forgot dude, about that. I, yeah. I was, I was grabbing them left and right. I was just like, dude, these are, and I, you know, I've traded them to to friends or you know wh whatever, you know, sold a few, but like, yeah, like if it made its way to you know the discount stores you know, probably shouldn't be re-released, but you know, he is a, a, you know, an iconic character. I get that. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy for the folks that you know. It's the rogue situation off. again. Uh, when you know she was just sitting on pegs for years and years, and then everyone needed her and paying two hundred dollars for her. I mean, uh, it, it's supply and demand. It's just the way it is. But yeah, this yeah. one this one's a five below exclusive. 100%. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, you can get them, and it's not just uh, Entertainment Earth. It sounds like any fan channel uh, has got your back there. Yeah, pick your pick your poison there. So that's it for uh, that kind of, uh, not a rumor, release that uh, we got for Black Series News. We did get uh, a slight rumor from Yak Face uh, talking about another Target exclusive, Lunge was the code word and um the comments were hilarious i love, like, I, I love all these uh code words are so good <laughs> yeah they, yeah uh, so he just who, who knows what this is you know we're not even going to bother speculating but more target exclusives coming obviously that's happening you no surprises there the the you know if you think exclusives are gonna just suddenly stop like you're not you're not paying attention like this they're they're not going away you know, I hate saying it, it is what it is, but like that it is like they're, they're not going away. Um, but the, yeah, that's it for black series TVC that we, we got a, we got a double header of, of nothing TVC and six scale, nothing. Right. I know. I think that we went so hard the past couple weeks with releases and such that, yeah, we, we've exhausted them. We've exhausted their resources and their pipelines and yeah, it's quiet. It's quiet right now. Well, we got it, it. It's funny because where we're light in, you know, blacks or black series vintage collection and six scale, we're we're kind of heavy in the grab bag. So I I got some fun stuff to talk about. So let me get it up on the board here. So first up, this actually just came out today. We we kind of covered this uh, when it was like in its rumor kind of stages, but. This is that 18 plus line, that kind of UCS line, Darth Vader's meditation chamber for Legos. This is fucking cool, man. And only um, 70 bucks. That's a steal. Yeah. Th this is, you know, it's that same price point as that pro droid. Th this is very cool, man. Um, obviously iconic scene i am just realizing now that it's got even the little like <laughs> you know a monitor where he's choking, choking uh, out ozzle yeah yeah yep yeah, yeah. um yes like it even like kind of you can articulate it up and down and close it and open it um very cool i'm all over that uh looks like august it is coming out and you can order it now i'm just on lego and yeah you can you can add the bag right now so very cool shit. Um, Do we yeah, know if I'm, that's Piet or Veers? Where? Oh, that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah what, does it know that. what what know what trooper it's coming with? Um, sorry, sorry, my my nerdgasm is no, going you're, off. I, I yeah, that's got to be Pete. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe that, that that the picture looks like Veers, right? Yeah, Veers is the one who talks to him on the way to Hoth. And then if you look on the screen with Ozel and Piet when he gets promoted there, so maybe it yeah. is Veers. Yeah, I bet that's probably Veers. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say And does this come with the removable back of the helmet? Because if not, then it definitely is Veers, because Piet was the one who saw him at the back of his head. Yeah, I'm sure it says here if I Yeah, General Veers. Uh there Darth Vader and Veers with blaster pistol. So, Very cool. Yeah. Nice man. Um, Thanks for entertaining yeah. me on that one. <laughs> yep. Um, Az figs. If you're if you're still in here, um, I'm I'm curious if you're gonna pick that up. I I know you mess with Lego, so uh, yeah, I'm all over this one. This one's very cool. And then next up on the grab bag, we have. Let me get it up. Very Green cool. Yeah, we do, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll beatbox. Yes, yeah, there we go. All right, so this is our first. We got a first coverage of a Kickstarter. I've been meaning to do this. Well, we've we've been meaning of doing this, right? Um, I just I just don't pay too much attention to Kickstarters. Uh, most of the Kickstarters that I see are kind of customizing you know like 3d uh you know printing type projects but this one is really cool as you know you know anyone who's been following the show for a while knows i'm a little bit of you know i, I fuck with pins i like pins 
just weird like pins <laughs> i put pins on a, a denim a canadian tuxedo denim jacket vest um but yeah this is very cool so this is enam enam ugh, enamel empire i have a very hard time saying that word I, last time we covered them i i couldn't say it and these are the folks that i bought those two thron pins from on the on the may the fourth day and they're doing their first Kickstarter. This is, they, they got the inspiration. They said they were like at like a, uh, like an insect, insect uh, exhibit at a zoo. And they saw, you know, a, but, a butterfly box with the butterflies, you know, how they're like, you know, kind of pinned up with pins and stuff like that. So they're like, oh, like I could make pins that look like that. So the idea is to have this kind of collection in a butterfly type case. And I just think it's a really cool concept. It's, it's yeah, I mean, it's brilliant, brilliant, super original, right? Yeah, is that I'm looking at these. I'm trying to see. Is that Thrawn in the bottom left? Yeah. So we got. I'll see if I can zoom in in here. So we got yeah, uh, Kanan, Ahsoka, Chopper, Sabine, Thrawn, um, Hera. Oh, I, I just put two and two together. Rebels. I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Zeb and um, uh, Maul and, and Grievous. Very cool. The 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 pledges and I did I did back this uh, and I believe it was the Thrawn, the Darth Maul and the Grievous were the stretch ones. And then these ones were uh, the main goal. And it, it's already been backed. So these ones are already unlocked. And I backed it for two pins. I'm hoping that it hits the stretch goals because the two that I really want are Thrawn and Maul, which are part of the stretch goal. So I might not be able to get those two, but you know, there's 20 days to go. So, you know, if anyone's into pins, check this out. <laughs> like I said, an enamel empire, very cool Kickstarter. So I wanted to kind of give them some love. Um, I really that like Zed it. Zed is staring into my soul. It's big too, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's very big. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, let's get into the last one of the grab bag. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. You're going to like this. So this could have even been on our sideshow kind of segment, but it's a statue. So we got, this is by Iron Studios. They do a lot of different scales. But this is their, they kind of primarily do a lot of one tenth scale. This is the Mandalorian and Grogu. So this is the, you know, the ET kind of moment, you know, taking off the mask. The emotional and farewell. This is, this is where everyone started crying. Every, everybody in the room, not a, not a dry, not a dry tear, a dry, dry eye in the, in the movie theater. Okay. So I don't I know, know, man. It's, I know some people are very upset that he's got the wrong thigh plate armor on. I didn't even catch that. Let me get to the. Oh wow! Yep. Yeah, he's he's rocking the original and right, right here, right? Yeah, it's supposed yep. to be the that uh, that pewter color and all gray, all gray. So, well, pure but, Bezcar, uh, right? Yeah. So goodness, I, I, it's gonna have to be a pass for me, man. <laughs> what a fumble hey good eyes on that yeah what a fumble that reminds me of the what was it the incinerator trooper that had the fucking flame tank upside down yeah i mean come on man it's attention to details come on dude oh my god yeah good call on that so well there you you got you got kevin out iron studios way to go holy yeah, shit congratulations so. guys well, this isn't a raging endorsement, but uh, so it's 160 bucks if you want it. But I doubt anyone that's watching this is going to want to buy it now. Now that you you fucking shit all over it, but uh, Does it's it have, it's like, cool the nonetheless. Where it opens the helmet to where you can see like his chin or no? No, this is this is a statue. Like, and I, I don't think it has any kind of didn't know that like an alternate move. head. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Nope. But okay. Well, Either way, I mean, it, it is a pretty piece, though. Yeah, wanted to cover that, and then the last thing in the grab bag, uh, got some book news. So this is about yeah, the High Republic. The next, you know, um, the next one in the the High Republic series. This is the Rising Storm. This is the exclusive print by Out of Print. Um, they they do. A ton of shit um 
books obviously but a lot of clothes and stuff like that and yeah they're getting an exclusive this cover looks awesome i don't have the other covers up target uh i believe target's getting an exclusive cover and barnes and noble is getting an exclusive cover this one in my opinion is the, the best of the three and um yeah it looks yeah, great colors on that look really really good right they pop i, I just love that kind of like I can't tell if that's a Neon spinning purple. saber or a or a or a shield. I mean, it looks really cool. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I don't know if you know he's doing a little Aquaman type, <laughs> you know, uh, spinning of the trident type type deal, but with his lightsaber, or if he's doing some new force shield technique. It look it looks like it is his saber that he's he's doing there. But uh, yeah, fifty bucks. Um, <clears throat> it's it's signed by the author, Caven Scott. Um, very cool. I'm definitely going to be chasing that. I usually grab all these. So the where where I'm out is when it's like hundred and fifty dollars. I'm not spending hundred and fifty dollars for a book. Like, sorry, not happening. But just grab that ebook if you really want to read it. Yeah. But uh <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Well, that's uh that's it for Star Wars. So we can get into it's gonna tip in the scales, man. Yeah, this is something that is really, really cool. And this is a little bit off the beaten path from things we usually talk about. But you're about to pull these up here. So Yeah, I'll get, I'll get them up. Yeah, so when I was growing up, um, I had a fascination with Egypt. And I actually wanted to be an Egyptologist. And I was really into hieroglyphics and Egypt culture. And, you know, speaking of the mummy that you talked about uh, a little bit earlier on. But what if that there was a line of six scale figures that are dedicated to the Egyptian gods. Wouldn't that be something? And what do you know? We have them now. Uh, specifically Horus, Anubis, there's a, um, I think there's Ray, there's all kinds of them. There's about five or six of them, but they just look absolutely incredible. They're about 130 bucks a piece, I think. But look at the detail on these things. I mean, the, they they're incredible i don't know what more uh to say about them but they are super cool yeah they look great man yeah i was uh, i was blown away when i saw the, them the we can we can kind of get into some cool. of the other ones that they had yeah. so yeah this was the horus the guardian guardian of the pharaoh which is yeah i mean buff dude with an eagle head like yeah awesome <laughs> and, yeah, yeah the there, Nib the the nibis there. a guardian of the underworld yeah that one i love funny that i mean just watch <laughs> the mummy like right. they talked about this guy um yeah here's a nibus yeah this is these are awesome man yeah and i wonder if they're uh if they're rubber suits or whatever yeah, if you just had be... like a, a a sea of you know hot toys and you wanted something to kind of stand out you could yeah. definitely throw together a very cool you know yeah, the Pharaoh. Uh, full, okay. You could do a full uh, detox, but you could yeah. do like one shelf of these. I mean, there's a lot of them, you know. Jesus, yeah, there's there's a ton. Well, this is and this is I don't know if we covered it, but it's uh TB League. Yeah, TB League is the, the name of the manufacturer. But so that, yeah. that's something I'm highly considering. They come out Q3. Pretty pretty nice price, too. I mean, 180 bucks on these. I mean, yeah, and you get a bunch of shit. I think and... you buddy. Oh, am but I? uh compared to hot toys, yeah, these are these are very well priced. Am I back? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Kevin, are you there? We Can might, nobody hear might me? have lost Kevin. <laughs> Hold on. So Kevin is going to be coming back. All right. So yeah. So yeah, these these are just rad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get any of these, but like, yeah, dude, you gotta appreciate these. Like these are fucking cool, man. I really dig these. But um, all right. Well, that's that's it for tipping the scales. We'll get into let's pivot over to a tube talk while Kevin kind of gets in here. Let's get Kevin back in. Hey, are you there, man? Hello. Can you hear me? No. Oh no! What is happening? Let's see. I hey, what's up, Frail it. Vampire? Let's see here. Um. You can hear me, right, Kevin? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're just uh, we're still working on Kevin's audio. Can you hear me now? No. Nobody can hear oh, me. Oh, maybe it's my audio. They they they're saying they can. Can you guys hear Kevin? Jesus, man, this is two weeks in a row. Just just a bunch of amateurs here. <laughs> what you want? What you want to play me again? Oh 
Oh my god! So it's my ears. Holy shit! All right, well, talk away, Kevin. Give me a minute. Well, to hello, everyone. Uh, let me let me swap this out real quick. Uh, hopefully, everyone's blah blah blah. Can everybody still hear me? I think it's showing. Um, so, hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Tipping the Scales. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed looking at those TB League pieces. Uh, I really want Horace and Anubis. Dave, can you hear me? Everybody else can hopefully hear me, I think. I don't know. We can hear both of you. Now Kevin sounds like a robot. <laughs> Lovely. Do I still sound weird? Kevin is clean now. Great. I'm glad to hear that. I can't hear Dave, but look at us rookies. Now he's muted. Hey, are we there? There, hey. Oh, hey, all right. Are we back? We all we're good? back. All right. Well, let's let's get into some <laughs> tube talk before I fucking I'm an idiot and fuck this up even more. <laughs> all right. So, did you have a chance to watch Army of the Dead? I did actually, and Army of the Dead was interesting to say the least. Um, could have been better, but I think that here's the issue, and we talked about this a little bit last week. Giving Zack Snyder too much control. Uh, for as much praise that he got from Justice League, I think he was a little bit over his head on this one, but that's just my opinion. Okay. So, I mean, what would you give it as a, a one, one to five? Uh, one to five? Yeah. Or one uh, to whatever. Uh, if we're doing one to ten, I'd give it a six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. So above 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 average. You, yeah, you, en you enjoyed it's it. It's a fun film. Yeah. Okay. So I, I definitely got bit by the hype train on this. I uh, spoiler spoiler alert here, but I, I definitely, you know, I tried to kind of harness myself. I was talking to my buddy, Anthony, and, uh, you know, he mentioned it too. Like this is right up my alley Zo zombie and, and heist heist movies yeah. and zombie movies, and, you know, add them together and Zack Snyder, you know, and, you know, some, a, a decent cast. I was like, okay, yeah. this is going to be pretty, pretty good. Um, but, it just it, it it fell a little flat for me. Um, I did enjoy some elements. It totally had uh, like um, I am legend vibes, like right big time I am legend vibes, and I really liked those. And then uh, you know some some of the 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 deaths were pretty cool. You know some of the kills were pretty cool, but it it just seemed. You know, they and they this film had issues. Like they're pretty much like done right. it. I think um what was it like Chris uh Chris Delia. Delia. Yeah, he yeah, was supposed he to be in it. Edited out of it. Yeah, they spent like millions of dollars. Like it was already the done blue screen the other girl in. Yeah, and so you, you could you could tell there was like some stuff that just wasn't super cohesive, you know, and that kind of stood out. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. It just it didn't really didn't really hit on as many, many cylinders as I would prefer it to be. And, you know, Zach, I, I did notice that it was his first time in charge of the cinematography. The cinematography yep. And w I knew that before I watched it. So I was like over analyzing right. that. Like, I, like I, and if, if I didn't know that, I probably wouldn't have even noticed that stuff. But I was very much like, oh, this isn't, yeah, like, did you happen to notice that it was there. almost a line for line and scene for scene remake of Alien? No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't catch any kind of Alien, you know. So there's parallels. Really, there's a few things online that talk about where he just flat out ripped lines from the movie Alien, as well oh, really? as yeah, as well as the situations. Um, even like the spoiler when they finally get to the roof and they're thinking that the copter left them, but they really didn't. And then, you know, things like that. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. I know the scene now that you're, yeah. Yeah. So, we so just, either we just, way, as, as I said, I think he may have gotten a little over his head because as much hype as we give the justice league, we're still have, you know, Batman versus Superman and man of steel out there to where, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I I give it a four. I I I won't. It's not. It's not basically like if I'm doing my my kind of ratings, I'm rating it on like if I'm gonna like watchability and like the, there's no way I would watch this movie again. So if there's no way I'm gonna watch it again, that's got to be under a five. So I'm 
you know, there was, like I said, I made it all the way through. I mean, some movies I'll be like, fuck, like I'm not even going to finish this, you know, but <laughs> I was, I was able to get through it. <laughs> and I thought, I thought the opening part was pretty cool. Like that, that, that whole, you know, you, kind of the introduction to the zombie, you know, how it, they, they didn't spend, you know, a whole lot of time on like how it happened and why it happened. So I, I think I really enjoyed that part, but. Yeah, and as people have said, you need to suspend disbelief to kind of like the Godzilla vs. Kong. Don't go in there expecting a lot and try right. to understand the plot. Just kind of sit there and have fun. And that may be why it's a little bit you know, higher for me, just because I still was just able to have fun and just relax and watch a show. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, I mean, you call it a popcorn movie, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's something yeah. to do. Yeah. I didn't pay for it, so no big deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah could be worse right you could have had to shell out you know five bucks on whatever vod or whatnot yeah I i'm debating on whether or not i want to go see quiet place too because i did not like the original quiet place and everyone okay. else loved and thought it was incredible but like i just could not get behind that one yeah i'll i'll wait till that comes on hbo max or whatever um i I'm, i was trying to think the next movie i'm going to see in the in the movie theater will probably be black widow same uh, I think that that comes out um, next month, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, speaking of Marvel, let's let's get into some Marvel. So we, man, we got dumped on, man. Yeah, we. It's a big week for Marvel, and that that's a good thing. And it also has one of my rant sessions encrusted in here, which I can't wait to get in, and I can't wait to get our studio audience's feedback. But let's start with the fan first panel. Um, Lots of good stuff coming from that. And also, let's start actually with this. The bad guy wave that people have been looking for with Dormammu and Red Skull and The Hood. That was officially street dated for today. So if you want to jump out to your Target, your Walmart, so hopefully see if you can't cop, cop those, they are out there officially. So go out there and get them if you can. But let's get to the fan first friend, the fan first panel. So big things coming out of that. Mainly, as you can see here, the Age of Apocalypse line, Volume 2, or Wave 2. And this is more heat right here. They have all the main characters that people have been wanting. You got your Iceman, you got your Sabretooth, you got your Kitty Pride, you got your Cyclops. Um, I mean, it, they all look really, really good. And if you want to scroll down, that Colossus Build-A-Figure is what's really, really cool. Um, people have been looking forward to that. Um, I think it's on there. Uh, there's a big leg for it, but um, the whole age of apocalypse, the, the, the aesthetic of that is fantastic, especially with Magneto with the long hair. I think that's super cool. Pull up that Magneto one. That one's neat looking. Um, so the very, very cool. That wave is going to once again, you know, go ballistic. Everyone wants their X-Men. X-Men's a cool thing. This is a great, great line. The artwork looks fantastic. So those are available on Hasbro pulse. If you want to get in on that, um, grab those or find your favorite e-tailer. I mean, look how great the face printing tech is, has gotten. I mean, those are, those sculpts are so good. So good. Look at the, look at this hairstyle and Cyclops. I know what a hipster. eh? I know he, he is not a poser. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, but, but he looks really good, but we also were able to get the retro Spidey 2099 and people are a little bit hesitant about this. This is one of the big pieces that were omitted from people's collections because yep. that was a hard one to get. I think he's from either the Hobgoblin wave or the Space Venom wave. That, one of those waves that were hard Hob to get. Hobgoblin. Yeah, so this one is, uh, I love 2099. I have the 2099 Hot Toy. Um, but this one, they changed the paint apps. The, the, the paint aesthetics on this one are a little bit different, and some people aren't exactly thrilled about that one. So it's a little more purpley, shiny, as yeah. opposed to the original release that was you know, the dark blue, kind of like the way it needs to be. So overall, I'm really happy that the 2099 is coming back. But once again, why have they still not upgraded the body on that? I think that's the yeah. uh, the main flaw. That's the issue. Yeah, we, why got some, we, we got some hands, which is nice. The, the other yeah. one didn't have this many hand options. That's good. Um, but I think, once again, the, the reuse buck that keeps coming and showing up. When we know they have the new mold, why aren't we, why aren't we getting that new one? So... Who knows? Um, we'll, we'll figure that out. But we also got the retro series, and these are heat. I couldn't even find a picture for these. I don't think they've officially left them to be ordered yet. But we got Iron Man, the Stealth Armor, Silver Surfer, U.S. Agent, Loki, 
the black suit Spider-Man and Storm. And so those retro three and three quarter figures look fantastic. And the the US agent, the black suit Spidey, the, those are probably the, the standouts for me. Are I know you were running out to get your Daredevil. Are there any of these you want to grab? Nah. No. Um, nah. Hard, hard, hard pass on on all of the retro figures until there's a moon night one, like <laughs> call, call me when that happens, but I'm, I'm hitting the snooze button on that whole retro line. I mean, they're, they're, they're cool. I, the, the, the best thing about it is the fact that they put Kenner on the actual packaging. I think that, that is, that's super rad, but um, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't need them. Don't need them. <laughs> well, fair enough, but they also did something. They started yesterday and today they started doing to where channels and YouTube accounts and Instagram accounts are also doing some reveals themselves. And I thought that's one of the coolest ideas is to Very get cool. you know, more people involved. And so the question is, Dave, when where's are they going to call us ours? up? Where's <laughs> our invite? When are we going to do a big reveal for Hasbro? Or are we too foul mouth? So um, I, I don't know. Where's where? Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll do it when it's the Moon Knight retro. If if someone else gets to reveal the Moon Knight three quarter you know retro i mean i'm gonna be very upset i'm gonna talk to someone's manager oh we, we'll get the karen corner ready for you <laughs> but thank you to toying around as well as annoying you with friendship for showing us a battle damage wolverine as well as the repainted omega red so once again another wolverine that no one really asked for but a new omega red for those that did not get in the first round through the uh, sauron build a figure wave you will have another opportunity to get Omega Red, and there is rumor that he could be showing up in the MCU. So that is something I'm, to think I'm about. I'm all out of order here. L let me. Uh, oh no, you well, can keep it right there. Yeah, cover this guy. Yeah, you can go. That's perfect. Thank you for bringing this up because here's my rant. All right, so we have. I think you're looking here at Mastermind potentially. So here's my rant, Dave. I don't know who these people are, Tigra. Excalibur, Megan, Callisto, Mastermind, all these people were uh, were revealed. And I'm going to tell you, and I have to ask myself an inward question, everybody. Am I a poser for not knowing who the fuck these people are? <clears throat> no, because I, I, I think a lot of those figures are deep cut figures and I'm with you. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I know about the Hellfire Club, but I never read, right. I never read that run of X-Men. I, I think that's what House of, is that House of M? Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm not familiar with who is in the hellfire club other than Sebastian Shaw, AKA Kevin Bacon. I mean, that, that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's my knowledge of the hellfire club Excalibur. I know Nightcrawler's in it, you know, that, but yeah, as far as who rounds out that team, black Knight. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know who Megan is, you know, obviously Tigra, you know, familiar with her, like, you know, I could call her out in the lineup but i you know i haven't read her origin story or anything like that well and, that, and that's what i'm that's what i'm getting at is that am i a poser as someone who is sitting on a toy podcast talking about our comic figures and things <laughs> like that it, it blows my mind I, as you know i i love to troll and listen to all these comments and such the 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 high horse people out there that are acting like these are the greatest releases ever and that they've been waiting for them and if you don't if you're not hype about them then you're not a true fan you know it's those people that act like uh that they're better than because you know they've been waiting for their mastermind figure as opposed to wolverine you know there's some people that don't have an opportunity to get over <laughs> to those comics so that was my thing is that I wonder, am I a poser because I don't know the deep cuts? Well, and I, I think that's just a test of how, you know, deep, you know, the nerd kind of nerdum is as far as Marvel goes. I mean, you talk about staying powered, dude, they, they can pull so many, they pull characters that I'm like, literally like, who the fuck is, who's, who's that? Who's Red Guardian again? Like, I yeah, mean, shit that, like Who's that. Rock Python, you know? I, I mean, that's yeah. one of the ones I'm like, oh, sweet. Yeah, that's Serpent Society, bro. <laughs> eh, that's <laughs> and a bad I, example. I, I, I'm, I'm big on teams. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, there are some teams where, yeah, I just, I just literally don't know much about, so therefore I won't be like, Oh, much about him like i mean the age of apocalypse uh that whole run i never read that run I, like i read like the first couple books when i was a kid and it just did nothing for me so like all you know that sugar man wave like i was like that is the easiest pass for me 
ever. Like that Wolverine, that short stubby Wolverine that, that like <laughs> to me that that is like like I have zero interest and I usually would buy like every single Wolverine figure I could get my hands on but I was like that is the easiest pass ever and he is like constable zuvio level peg warming you know correct so correct but as you know he'll probably be going for 175 dollars you know once everyone needs him eventually at some point but that's what i wanted to say is that these tigra teaser um for the excalibur callisto mastermind i'm excited some of these people are getting them but i'm sorry if i've disappointed our audience the people that really look up to us if kevin is a poser because he doesn't know these then I am very, very sorry about that. But one oh, no, character right. I do know about is Miles Morales and that Miles Bodega Cat. And let's talk about our reveal from Six Scale. Now, this was teased at one of the sideshow um, panels, I guess, one of those fan fest things. So we've seen it before, but people are going wild about this thing for 200, 285 bucks. A little steep for me for what you get. Um, this is not the 2099 uh, miles that you and I have on order, yeah. but overall, this is still pretty good. I know the miles character, especially from the game is really, really hot right now. People love the shoes. People love this look as well as the cat. I think if you're every time you have a pet or something cute like that, it's absolute money. So there's a little rollerblades, pretty sweet. So that is available for pre-order if you're interested in that. This and this had a, like a dynamic stand option too. Didn't it have like a deluxe uh, option or am I just tripping? Um, no, I didn't. think you might be tripping there. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it comes with the, That's the it. Yeah, okay. Days, um, some eyes and the, obviously the little bodega cat. So. Yeah. I, I, I was actually talking to a uh, frail vampire about this one and um, he was like, Hey, what do you think about this? And I mean, I, I, I definitely dig it. So it's, it's a great figure, but, I only need one Miles Morales representation in my hot toy collection. And, yeah, and you, you and know, I got that coming. So we got that. So this is so, an easy pass, but it, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's great. I'm, I'm a sucker for like, dude, like the hoodie, the ho like any kind of hot toy in a hoodie, I think is just that's so why cool. I love my Scarlet spider. I yeah. love my Scarlet spider. Yeah. That, that one's on my predator list. I want to get that one. And oh, I, I asked, did you have that one? Not yet. No, I'm still that that one's still kind of on my predator list. But I, I think I'm also just out on rollerblades. <laughs> yeah, that's it, 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 a little odd. But those uh, those Jordan 13s look pretty sick, though. Not yeah, gonna lie. yeah, nice. Here's a fun story about the Jordan 13s. Those came out on Christmas Eve when I was working at Finish Line. I think I told you that. Um, and I was working at Northgate Mall, and I had to get there at like 5 a.m. for the sneaker release of the Jordans back in the day because now. You know, young kids out there just have to go and get their virtual queue and it's so much easier, but we had to get in line, you know, to get these bitches back in the day. These things were so hot on Christmas Eve and the place that I worked was not the safest place. Um, there was a gunfight outside oh God. during the uh, release and we had to shut the gate and go hide in the back until the cops came to uh, sort that out. So give it up for finish line and the Jordan 13s. Jordan 13 story involving guns. I mean, what kind what kind of Jordan story doesn't have like a, like a gun story in it, you know? Jesus, I mean, they, they were they were hot, man. Those red and black 13s were fire. So, uh, that's going to do it for me with 6 scale, but Dave, why don't you take us over to the leftovers, man? All right, man. Yeah, so <clears throat> we're going to start start this with a warning, not a Funko channel. <laughs> but, Here we go again. But that being said, however, <laughs> We are we are covering some Funko and holy shit, dude! Uh, I, I'm strongly the pull is strong on this one, so we are looking at official Funko Pops of the blockbuster movie They Live, Saskatch Saskatoon, Saskatchewan's own Roddy Piper, and I mean this guy's just here to chew bubble gum and you know be a Funko Pop. I mean this this looks cool. It's got a chase option, <laughs> the, the, the gray chase option. I don't know, no, man. You gotta, if, go, if, you gotta go all out on that teal and purple though. Yeah, I don't I don't need like I, to me the chase would be the colored one. Like uh, the the whole black white thing um, doesn't do anything for me. Of course, sure, if I saw that chase, bet your ass I'm grabbing it, you know, but if I do see this one, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put it out here. If I see this one in a store, I will buy it. Done. Okay. That, so that, that's a that's a that's a damn bold statement. You're I can't remember the last time 
that I will go and get Funko Pops if I see them. I will buy this Funko Pop if I see it in a store or anywhere for retail. So, Got you. And you guys can hold me to that. Um, but yeah, dude, this, this one is awesome. I love the movie. Um, so I wanted to cover that. And then next we got <laughs> another fucking Funko. But this one is very cool too. And I, This I one's to, different. And then I'll have to make a confession as well. I had to show it. This is, we got a goddamn movie moment of Jaws. And we got our boy, Robert Shaw, waist deep in in bruce's mouth and yep. um this is just cool man like i think this is rad i i think of this piece being on someone's desk that has like no toys at all like this just this looks like it's the ultimate cra- crossover piece yeah the ultimate crossover but like the ultimate like gift which i think is what kind of funko's business model is like yeah there's like there's people that will buy like floor to ceiling thousands of these but really they probably intended on everyone buying one like their whole thing is everyone's a fan of something so if we can get everyone to just buy one that's a lot of like that's a lot of sales and this would be cool just for some person that that doesn't even know what funko is it it was like oh i like jaws though that's my favorite movie this would look cool like in in the gateway drug and before you know it they'll be be getting some detox and hot toys yeah yeah, so th- dude, this one's cool. Yeah, it's thirty bucks. It's a GameStop I- exclusive. I-, I wanted to cover it. It it's rad. I won't I won't get it though, but it's rad. And I, I did. I I I love Quint, dude. Farewell. Well, yeah, Quint is yeah. one of the best. Farewell and adieu to his best Spanish, Spanish ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. that's one of my favorite parts. I, I love Jaws. If you obviously can't tell, um, but um, one of my favorite lines. He's like, "Oh, I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and I'll kill him for ten. Yeah, dude. It, the, the 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 drinking song. Yeah, yeah. like show yeah. me the way, the to, way go. to go. <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> and I want to go to bed. <laughs> so good. All right. Anyway. So la, la, last year on the grab bag, this is kind of a, a random pull, but this is from we we covered this company every now and again. We dude, we're like light on the whore lately, but uh, this this is uh from Trick or Treat Studios, and they got a nice little. You know, it's not quite six inch, uh, but Captain Spaulding from House of a Thousand Corpses. It's a pretty basic, as basic as it gets as far as articulation. Looks like just like a five point one, two. I'm guessing these are individual. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, and then possibly the head. So, minimal four point articulation, probably, you know, five no, POV, uh, POA. Yeah. You know, it's got his goddamn turkey or uh, uh, his, his chicken, his bucket chicken, and his big old desert eagle. You know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I think this this kind of looks like something that would be, you know, packaged along with like a, an exclusive DVD set, right? Are you getting those vibes? Yeah, I, like, it, I could definitely it looks pretty see cheap. That. Yeah, it reminds me of like the, the the special packaging with the little window, and you'd have him in it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What was that like? Uh, didn't like Miles Morales get something like that? They or no, Venom no, it, one. it was Venom. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was Venom. Yeah. So I think like that's what I look look you know think of when I see this type of figure. But you know, twenty bucks, you can pre order it now. I, I think this stuff looks cool in your your you know shelf of DVDs of you know horror DVDs or something like that. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, he's just got such iconic colors and he looks good. Yeah, so yeah, I wanted uh I wanted to get that up there, man. But uh, yeah, did what what do you, what do you think? You you getting any of those Funko Pops? No, but I saw something uh that I don't know if we've talked about before. Are you familiar with the uh, Funko sodas? Yes. Yeah, they uh, it's like a can, and then it's like a little vinyl figure in yes. the can, right? So the Ghostbuster ones are starting to trickle in, and I may be grabbing those. I haven't seen. It. Can I get them up here? Are they? Um, they're they're already uh, revealed, right? Yeah. Type in a uh, the soda. What's what's Fun- called Funko soda? soda? Yeah, Funko Soda, Ghostbusters. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, they're okay. pretty sick because Replay Toys has some. Yeah, they look cool. Um. Okay, let me share here. 
yeah, here we are, fucking not a Funko channel. Now we're covering like three different Funko lines. I know. I mean, but <laughs> whether you want Vankman or you know Stay Puffed. Oh, and they have all. The, yeah, that's right. They have like a chase, like one in six. You can get that one. So yeah, pretty sweet, this, man. There's a Stay Puff, uh, a soda one. Yeah. All right. So what? I can put you down for a six pack of these. <laughs> yes, you can get me the six pack of you know the four Ghostbusters Stay Puffed, and potentially if there is, I guess Slimer would be the sixth. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a six pack, buddy. Yeah, I mean we're just getting roasted in the chat about not being That's a fine. Channel. That's fine. God, man. God, remember remember when you used to like have so many Funko Pops, Kevin? I did, man. I used to have like a hundred at some what? point. What? I did used to have a hundred. Oh my god! I think I probably still have a hundred. Just got you got like boxes. I I literally my uh, my goddaughter she's like thirteen and she's like really into Funko Pop. She's really into Stranger Things, but she was into Star Wars too. And I was like going through them, and I had a like a whole tote. I probably fit I don't know forty of them in there, and I was just like, here you go. <laughs> I just gave them all to her, and it like made her day. Like she was floored and they're all exclusive the, ones i was gonna say you didn't give her the uh the jedi ghost did you oh fuck no i still i i got i got i got a list that i'm uh i'm kind of playing that that might be a plastic for pricing profit prediction but i kind of feel like if i want to get as much value out of that i need to wait until that anakin uh or that that obi-wan series comes out when that obi-wan series comes out that I mean that pops going for seven hundred and fifty dollars all day That's right insane. now. Insane, all day. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking I, I might hold out. You know, don't Bitcoin yourself on this though. <laughs> yeah, you're playing oh, cryptocurrencies man. with Funko Pops, dude. Funny, funny story, producer Matt. So we kind of like at the beginning, I was collecting Funko Pops, and he was like, "Oh, these are kind of cool." And then I was like, he he's a big horror guy too. We love we love horror movies. His favorite horror movie is Cabin in the Woods. And we started uh <laughs> we started kind of like, yeah, let's 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 do something together. So I was like kind of coaxing him to collect these with me. And he bought the American Psycho, not American Psycho. He just bought the Psycho um Norman Bates one, and it was a New York Comic Con one, and he bought it off of eBay for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks and then he got it and we we've talked about this like when you get something then you're just like you don't have that like joy you don't yeah. get that dopamine yeah. dump at all and you're like why did i just do that so that that's what he did and then he just literally gave it to me and he's like yeah i'm not i'm not collecting these fucking things <laughs> well score for you then congratulations yeah 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 yeah, friendship's over but all right well that that'll pretty much do it man this is uh this is a good quick short episode we're expecting a lot of news joe news we're really excited to cover all that we'll get some more tube talk uh next week going too but uh yeah man thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and being active in the chat and you know just just supporting us this is uh this is awesome man good shit kevin Absolutely. Yeah, everyone, until we see you next time, we'll keep the peg warm for you. Peace out, everybody. All right. See you guys. See you guys next week. Later.